Hi, my name is Sean Mars and I'm an Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. And today I'm going to go over what's new in 3D Interconnect for SOLIDWORKS 2018. 3D Interconnect is a tool that came out in SOLIDWORKS 2017 that allowed you to directly read third-party native CAD files. In SOLIDWORKS 2018, we're now able to also bring in metadata for those files. So this would be custom properties, uh, material, or other user-defined attributes. Before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's look at what file types are accepted in SOLIDWORKS 3D Interconnect. So as of 2017, we could have CATIA, Inventor, PTC Creo, Solid Edge, or NX. Now in 2018, we're also going to be able to use JT files and then the neutral file types STEP, IGIS, and ASIS. In order to turn on SOLIDWORKS 3D Interconnect, we need to go to our system options, import, and then make sure that Enable 3D Interconnect is checked. In order to bring in our metadata, we're also going to want to check the Inventor CATIA Creo NX Solid Edge file format option and make sure custom properties and materials are on. If you're bringing in one of those neutral file types, we're going to want to also check our Step, IGIS, and ASIS settings to make sure this User Defined Attributes option is on. At this point, we can go ahead and open up one of our files. I have an inventor file that I'm going to go ahead and open. And the great thing about SOLIDWORKS 3D Interconnect is that when I open up this inventor assembly, it's always going to keep a link to the original inventor assembly. So I'm using it inside of SOLIDWORKS. But if I update that in Inventor, I can go ahead and choose to tell SOLIDWORKS to update it here as well. And it's going to update the geometry, it'll update anything that's changed in this assembly, but it'll also have preserved any of the face and edge IDs so that mates and features that I added in while working in SOLIDWORKS will be updated as well. So you can see everything came in. I have my entire assembly file structure but I also have custom properties. So if I go and create a bill materials for this, you can see it also brought in my inventor part numbers, descriptions, and any other custom properties that it might have been with those files. So this is a great way to save time when creating your drawings especially, as it will help fill in those title blocks, notes, and your bills and materials and other tables that you might make. Now one thing to note, any custom properties that come in with these files are going to be linked and locked back to the original third-party native CAD file. What this means is if I want to change these part numbers or these descriptions, I will need to break the link on either the individual component or the entire assembly. And if you're interested in the material, you should know that SOLIDWORKS is just going to bring in the material name as well as the density. So this works great for mass properties. I can get the weight of my assembly. I can also call out the material types that are supposed to be used. But this won't be quite enough to run a simulation as I'll be missing a couple file properties. If you need more information on 3D Interconnect, then we have a series of videos uh, that came out last year that goes over all of the main uses for 3D Interconnect and how you go about doing that. For more videos on SOLIDWORKS 2018, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks!